Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Grammar Fun. My name is Jaya and we will be learning grammar together. The chapter which we are going to look today at is chapter number 3, Adjectives. Let us see what is an adjective. Adjective describe nouns. So if you are describing a noun, then that becomes an adjective. They tell us, they means adjectives, tell us about opinion, size, shape, age color origin nationality and material i've given examples for each opinion beautiful size small shape square age old color green origin mughal nationality japanese and material cemented let us look at the types of adjectives our first one is adjectives of quality so quality it tells us about the quality of the noun what kind of what is a kind of noun you are describing for example intelligent good big new amazing ferocious unfriendly exciting all these are adjectives of quality second reason is adjectives of quantity that is how much the number how much of a thing okay the number of nouns example much some any enough first second many several even the numbers can come one two three four third one is demonstrative adjectives it points at specific nouns it points this that these those it comes before a noun if these words come before a noun then it is adjectives or demonstrative adjectives the fourth one is possessive adjectives as you all know possessive means ownership belonging possession so if it is showing possession then that is possessive adjectives the examples of possessive adjectives are my our your his her its their all these words followed by a noun fifth one interrogative adjectives interrogative means questions so which whose what are interrogative adjectives when used before a noun all the adjectives if it is used before a noun then only it is an adjective sixth one proper adjectives they are formed from proper nouns proper nouns are special nouns like india if indian is formed indian is proper adjective then china that is proper noun chinese proper adjective seventh one distributive adjectives Adject adjectives which are used to refer people or things individually among many are called distributive adjectives so you want to tell something individually in a crowd like among so many then that is distributive for example each every either neither any one all these are distributive adjectives now, as you have learned last year, there are three degrees of comparison. First is positive degree, second one is comparative degree, and third one is superlative degree. Positive degrees, it describes a noun. It can be just a noun with the vowel or as tall as. Tall is the adjective. Then, comparative degree, it compares two nouns. Taller than. The word than is used in comparative then superlative degree it compares more than two noun the tallest so the tallest among so many so that is, these are the three degrees of comparison now there are some rules in this the first rule is most adjectives most adjectives positive is a normal adjective for comparative you add er and superlative est tall taller tallest then ending with e if the last letter is E, then you add R and ST. Brave, braver, bravest. Fine, then ending consonant plus Y. So, if the ending consonant is Y, then you will change the Y to IER. Happy, happier, happiest. Then ending vowel plus Y. Last, before Y, if it is a vowel, uh, and last is y then you will add er and est you will not add i after along with y you will add er and est then adjectives with one syllable with a single consonant at the end 
like big so double the last consonant bigger biggest adjectives with more than two syllables here you cannot do anything you will just use more and most before the adjective when some adjectives do not follow any rules let us look at a few weak weaker weakest short shorter shortest fast faster fastest slow slower slowest wise wiser wisest large larger largest late later latest fine finer finest happy happier happiest lovely lovelier loveliest pretty prettier prettiest lazy lazier laziest gray grayer grayest big bigger biggest sad sadder saddest hot hotter hottest wet wetter wettest wonderful more wonderful most wonderful dangerous more dangerous most dangerous interesting more interesting most interesting comfortable more comfortable most comfortable good better best many much more most little less least old older or elder oldest or eldest far farther further farthest furthest these are how to form adjectives greed will become an adjective if you put y greedy thirst thirsty need needy filth filthy year yearly love lovely month monthly friend friendly fool foolish child childish red reddish white whitish use useful help helpful hate hateful faith faithful help helpless use useless taste tasteless home homeless i hope you understood the chapter now let us look at the worksheet you just have to put any adjective my dash sister is a pilot so my elder sister or younger sister the flower the floor was dirty i love indian western music or classical music it was an or a it was a big problem she was the sweetest mother in the world i am taller than you there is a big there is a, no there is lot of water in the bottle einstein was a clever scientist those mangoes aren't ripe yet ripe she was wearing a beautiful dress the tea was hot it was a great thing to do that was a wonderful surprise silk is smoother than cotton he is an intelligent boy she was a respectable woman in her 40s my mother bought me a gold necklace the old man was lying in a corner a baby skin feels smooth he has bought a new car so you can put any adjectives it is not that the only the adjectives which i said that is the end of the chapter i hope all of you have understood thank you for watching and have a nice day